Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel, as you can see in the title, I want to show you all Pokemon mobile games I could find on the internet, but today, I'm only gonna show you three. This is the first part and we're gonna make it a little serious, so today I'm going to show you three Pokemon games I could find, and next time, we're gonna download more and I show you more I found. We're gonna start today, as the first, with Trainer Canyon, and I might have a bit more knowledge um, then I had the first try because I was actually recording this already as you can see this is also not The way I usually call myself. I'm not calling myself big boy boy uh, This is actually never account I made for testing things, but we are gonna do or I'm gonna show you how the game um, Yeah, how I think the game is with this one today because I wasn't really happy with how I recorded the first time So we're gonna do it here. So I would like to give you a quick overview of how I think the game works and what I found out about them already instead of just showing you a few seconds of gameplay and then going to the next one as the others do it. So something I've already learned about this game is that it has many things um, that are the same as others but it also has some differences. So let's start with the most obvious stuff. If you are new then in the first 7 days you will get 1 Snorlax, you get a Pikachu, you get an item for Pikachu and some little things. Of course there's also a lot of stuff you can purchase, yeah makes sense. Oh it's double loot for some reason. Okay, um, then we have also leveling rewards as in some others, growth plants which you can buy, crystal rebates which you can use so all the stuff that should motivate you to um, buy stuff. As always that's just the normal things. We spend thirty dollars, fifty dollars, hundred dollars, all that. Then we have daily login stuff, which is also pretty nice, um, but probably just temporary to go with uh, VIP cards for monthly and I guess uh, longer. I'm I'm not sure. Together with that, also we have VIPs and benefits. Yeah, as you can see, here, privileges for VIP one, two, three, four, five, up to fifteen, and we have the usual benefits of. Being able to buy more energy so you can level up faster, more coins, more free rates, you can heal up. Actually this game has a mechanic I haven't seen that often, also this one doesn't work for some, for some reason. Um, but of what I can tell you, this pop-up pop-ups really often, same as this one. The theme Pokemon and the incoming shiny pops up whenever it's possible and it's pretty annoying. This is probably the biggest downside I've found on this game yet. Um, but beside that it was pretty decent from what I've seen. We have active gifts. Um, a few of them everywhere just for being online, pretty easy to claim. Uh, yeah, we have VIP um, privileges as I wanted to see, uh, as I wanted to say. Um, with energy, free rates, oh yeah, fast heal, I wanted to explain fast heal. And as you can see, it popped up again. In this game, you actually have to heal up your Pokemon and you have two options how to do that. The first thing would be to use fast heal, which you can use 20 times a day. It's this button, yeah, if you haven't seen it, it's this button. Uh, but you can also... Head over to your Poké Center in this version, um, so you can so you can heal up without using it. For that, you just have to go in here, and then you tell her, "Yep, I want to heal up," and, and she tells you, "Yeah, you don't have to," and then she heals up your Pokémon. So then we have a sign and stuff, which will also pop up all the time if you're not VIP because it will tell you so you, you can still claim it. Uh, we have mails, we have friends, as always. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah. Okay, if we'll, you know what? Okay, let me do that. Alright, this is better. This is my actual account and so I can show you some things. Uh, here you can also see my Pokemon uh, here and you can use uh, fast here. I used, 15 out I used 5 out of 20 today. Um, but what I wanted to show you, I guess for that I have to return to the city. Yeah, it pops up all the time as I told you. So, your friends means you can add as many friends as you want, I guess. Or you can, can you only add 30 friends? I'm, I'm quite not sure. Anyway, you can gift energy and you can also claim it if they would send you some. And here you can add friends. You can join guilds, as in almost every game. Sadly, the guilds don't accept me yet. 
probably because I'm too low. Um, we have roles, which are basically VIP benefits, um, so you can change the um, the visuals of your character together with, you can already see to the left, with different effects. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Yikes. Um, yeah, together with, with different effects, which make you stronger, which is pretty pay to win as always. We have a proficiency, as I found out, which is making you stronger, and I forgot how you get those books. Um, you get them in Victory Road, which also exists here. Um, and yeah, they make your uh, Pokemon stronger overall. Something I've noticed about this game, which was for me at least pretty new, are runes. Runes can be equipped on every Pokemon, you have different types depending on what stat you want to rise. And also uh, depends on how rare they are, like these are commons, or like normals, while the sunflower ones are pretty rare. And also have different stats, you can also rise up or like enhance your runes and then they will be stronger. This is something I haven't seen yet in Pokemon Gadgets, but it's pretty nice. One of the features I um, like that are kind of new. Uh, as always, you can evolve, you can break up, you can uh, reset your IV values, you can learn moves. You actually learn moves as soon as you uh, level up. It's not like in the others that you can... Oh, I, I could still... Oh, I could still recall them. Okay, so you learn them in fight, but then you can also recall them. Pretty nice. As always, we have also the capsule machine in pay to win and also not to pay. Like, you've seen I have 1 million coins, so I could do 10 of these draws. You get less money than in other games, what I can uh, tell from here, but it's fine. Here we have an exchange thing. I don't know how it exactly works, but like I know how it works, but I don't know what it's, if, it, if it has a point to do it. Because what you can do here, you can for example say we take Oddish and this one, we take Meowth and you as well. And then we say exchange, and then we get a new one. It's basically 4 to 1 uh, exchange and you always get a random one. And then you can decide to catch or release it. What I found out, after I put in four normal ones, I also got a normal one out. So I guess you always get the one you're putting in. Like if I put in four rares, then you also get four rares. What is pretty nice about this game too, is that if you catch a Pokemon, you actually receive it at the level you catch it on. Like for example, this one, I didn't level up. I catch Cedra in the Safari Zone, I guess that's, that's how it's called. Um, yeah, Safari Zone. I catch it at the level it is. You have different cards or different scanners and you can encounter different Pokemon with it. Of course this one is baiting for Lugia, but the, the chance is pretty low that you're actually gonna get it. But if I'm if I'm encountering like a Cedra and it's at level 26, then I keep it at level 26. Pretty nice, so you save up a few uh, candies. Pretty nice. Pr pr actually pretty nice. So then we can take a look at the guide. You have many things. You have White Capture, Mirko Exchange, Capsule, Safari Zone, Shiny Pokemon. And then the usual things like level up and activate ability, like giving it abilities um, with certain items. You can evolve. What you can do all day is basically victory road as soon as you, uh, as long as you can beat them, or uh, until you uh, battle 15. Then you have the battle center, which is um, oh yeah, which is like AI PVP. Like you take other other tamers or other trainers and you fight against their Pokemon. But they are controlled by AI. Then we have the Pokemon League, which is real-time PvP. As you can see here. Uh, the Gym of Champions I haven't unlocked yet. Actually, the leveling is pretty slow after a certain time. Like, I reached level 20 to 23 at the first day. But then it was slower. Way slower. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what I found out about it so far. And oh, as always, you have limits like... Energy, you have limits like reach another level so you can enter the next region to keep your main story till then you have to spend energy and do daily quests and bounties and da da da. All that usually gets our stuff. You have about, I don't know what's that, 10, 12, 12. You have 12 dailies and I must say so far, it's pretty decent. Actually, a gacha I would recommend. I will list you the download link in the description. Actually, I, I will... I will list you the the um, the link to my Discord because there I'm gonna do a download channel. I already did, <laughs> I already did after the first one, and there I will list all the gadgets I could find and maybe some other interesting stuff. So we have it all at one place. So yeah, if you want to download it, head to my Discord and do it there. Anyway, let's hop over to the next one because 10 minutes for one is actually a bit too long. Yikes! Let's go. 
All right, guys, second game out of the three. Probably a bit shorter part since I'm a bit better prepared. And I actually don't have to say much about this game, but I will try to make it fast. As always, there is a first recharge thing, also same as on uh, the Trainer Canyon game. But this one is called Adventure Journey. If I'm not right, Journey's Adventure, Adventure Journey. It will be in the download links on, on the Discord. Adventure Journey, I can see it on my desktop. Adventure Journey, it's called. Um, and I wanted to make a new account. You can already see this one is level 10 because I've also played like for a couple minutes, but not that much. But the issue I have, the biggest issue on this game, the lag. The lag is insane. No matter what you do, there's a lot of lag. You can, okay, yeah, you can see it already. I'm just trying to switch between tabs and it's already lagging. This shouldn't take that long. But yeah, as always, there's daily login stuff. There's also something for the first time when you uh, when you join. I don't know where it is. Seven day check-in? Yeah, that's what it is. After seven days, you get Zapdos. Pretty nice. The second day, you get uh, Pikachu. I already got that one. The cat Pikachu, uh, which is pretty neat. Better than a normal one, I'd say. Pretty dope. In terms of battles, uh, it looks quite different to Trainer Canyon. Also, I don't, I kind of don't. Oh, that works actually. Anyway, uh, it looks kind of different. They took, I, I'd say they took the original 3D sprites um, of Pokemon. And the music, music is speed up, right? I don't know if I'm a fan of that. But the music is kind of sped up. Um, but yeah, anyways, they took the normal 3D sprites. I thought at the first, uh, I think at the first time I recorded this, I thought that two times is only unlockable through paying. Um, but if you click on it, if you actually click on it two times, it tells you that you're gonna be able to get it if you uh, finish a certain quest. Why am I able to walk over trees? This is kind of weird. Anyway, um, this one has Poké Centers as well. I don't know if you have to heal up your Pokémon. Mm, at least they didn't took damage, so I think they gotta heal up. What what does Poké Center do? I, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually wondering. Nice, we left it already. That's pretty good. Okay, then fuck it. Um, we have the usual Gachapon, which is available in three variations. Like you have two, um, two event ones, and then a normal one. Oh, you can also see what you can get and then what rarity. Okay, interesting. You're probably gonna get a lot of normal ones, but anyway, instead of um, instead of what are those? How are these called? Recharge points? Gems. They're called gems. Instead of gems, you need those tickets or these these coins. But if you press ten times draw, then it also tells you that you don't have insufficient gems. It's not gonna tell you how many you need. It's just gonna tell you that you have to charge, which is kind of sad. Um, also, something I criticized on the first thing is that we have. The first we charge of 980 gems for Ho-Oh, or for 5,900 gems, instead of telling us how much you have to charge, because 980 gems are unchargeable. What you have to charge is 600 gems, and then you can also charge 19 uh, and 1,180 gems. You can't uh, you can't charge the amount that is needed, and then you have to calculate. And also, instead of telling you that it costs 15 dollars, because that's what it does, um, they're telling you that you only need a certain amount of gems. Is something to motivate you to pay not a friend of that but anyway summarizing the game I can show you many features since I'm not that far but what I can show you and what is the most important for me beside the little things like that you have daily so it would probably be like the others you have bounties super standard stuff something I'm really in out of or I was really in out of after a short time is actually the lag I'm not saying this game is bad it's probably also nice. Also, if you're a fan of the 3D sprites, then you will, uh, then you're gonna have a lot of them here. But what I'm really mad of is actually the lag. If there, if there wouldn't be such an amount of lag, I would probably have decided to play it as well, since all gadgets have limits, so you can play two simultaneously. You do the dailies, then you waste your energy, and then you can maybe play another one until your first one is recharged. But this giant amount of lag is really demotivating me to do anything okay this one works pretty good right now but yeah as soon as I go here the amount of the amount of I mean if we don't call it lag then then the amount of loading times loading takes way too long and um, what I haven't mentioned because it's kind of obvious for me but that's what happens on every game you're not gonna have a chance to be top 1 or to be nearly top 1 not even top 10 or maybe top 100 if you're not paying a lot of stuff 
uh, if you're not paying if you're not paying a lot of money to get a lot of stuff to get up there but this is pretty normal this happens in every gacha so I didn't thought that I have to say it but I'm gonna say it anyway um, yeah, if you're still interested in playing this one, as I said, the download link is on my Discord. If you have additional questions, though, uh, for these two, then you can ask me, and if I can answer them, then I'm gonna. Yeah, so if you want to ask me, just write me a comment, leave me a like, by the way, or maybe ask me in my Discord. That's what I can uh, recommend. Anyway, told you it's gonna be a bit shorter since I don't have to say a lot of, uh, about this game, beside mentioning the lag all the time. So we gonna hop to the third one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the last game for today is called Pokeland, and here I can mention it again. We're definitely gonna play on S1, especially since this game has 800 servers. So the chance of one of them dying, no matter what you choose, is pretty pretty high. So I definitely recommend to take the um, first one. Maybe there's R. R probably stands for recommended because it's maybe kind of new. But if it, has, if it has 800 servers, then it probably opens a server like every week. Like 800 is a lot. Anyway, see you in the game. Okay, iPoy and iPoy of 2i already exist. I feel like I've played this game before. But it already looks like a, like a lot of games are already played, so eh, I will figure it out. Alright, it says connecting, but I guess that's the first time thing. Um, The look is pretty similar of a lot of... Runtime gachas, I'd say. Like there, there are three types of Pokemon games. Like you have these games which have that, um, that style, like this kind of 3D models, but top down, and or like not top down, but like not third person or third person really far out. Uh, then you have the normal Pokemon types, like in the 2D, 2D type, like in the normal games, and then you have also, um. The stuff is you added in the trainer candy, which is kind of different. Okay, what I can already see and what I'm sadly criticizing, like if you're a fan of it, then it's nice. But this will be a game where we probably have a full team on the platform, looking at top down all together, but not at all, like not even close to normal Pokemon gameplay. I'm criticizing it because I'm a fan of Pokemon. I've played many Pokemon games. I've played PokeMMO and Pokemon, etc. Uh, and also normal, um, normal official games, yeah, let's say it like that. And I'm a huge fan from... From? Oh, no, I'm a huge fan of the normal combat system. So seeing something like that is actually mod not motivating me to play the game at all. Wouldn't be a game I could uh, play for a long time due to that. But as I said, pretty subjective. If you're a fan of the normal battle system, you know what I mean, but if not, then... Don't listen to me, just take a look at the um, game itself. But what you can already hear, at least what I'm hearing here, is that there's a lot of sound effects. Two speed opens and when we reach level 5, that's pretty nice, so you don't have to pay or do anything else. And auto battle opens at level 3. This is the first thing I'm looking at. I mean, I must say, it, it doesn't play bad. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's a bad thing. Uh, but yeah, I guess I don't need to repeat myself. Uh, give me a second and I will figure out if there is maybe something I can talk about. Okay, what you can do, you can level up your skills. With money. Interesting. Oh, that's a game where you put in intima uh, intimacy so they become strong for that. What you can also see that there's a lot of lag in this game. I don't know why. I promise you it's not my PC. Or not, not part of the emulator. What the fuck, this is lagging as fuck. What the hell is going on? Yikes, maybe part of tutorial. Alright, I just got told there are benefits. Uh, oh, and I can claim all of them due to other players that have done it. That's actually appreciated. Okay, then we have our normal uh, leveling benefits and all that, and I guess we are not stuck anymore. Oh, there's a lot of stuff I can claim. I'm sadly a fan of claiming stuff. Like, it's free. Uh, what is that? Is that energy? I have vitality, uh, vitality. Uh, supreme VIP. It's a title. How much do I have to charge for that? Okay, it doesn't tell me. Okay, we can check the privileges though. Okay, VIP one, which is probably one dollar. Um, can claim. F okay, I sadly don't know what you can do right now. 
But what we can tell is that it has... Oh god, 20. Oh, it tells you that you have to charge 1 million diamonds to unlock it, right? 1 million? Yeah, 1 million. How much is 1 million? Oh, $100 for 6,000. So you know how much some people paid in this game. So as always, gotcha game. They're gonna pay and you have no chance. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, but I'm actually not stuck. So let's take a quick look at what we can do. There are achievements. Cool. So you get a lot of diamonds at the first thing. First we charge is Gerardos. Even though it told us it's Lucario. Okay. Gerardos for $1. Um... Okay, that's that's actually pretty neat. Okay, then there's the event where we can claim vitality three times a day. That's not bad. Uh, oh, are there other events? Oh yeah, these are just stuffs we already claimed, I guess. Yeah, sorta. Hey, auto claim. Okay, whatever. Um, then we have the M card. Oh yeah, the, that's the monthly card. We have nature reset. Okay, you can reset the uh, natures. I uh, reset the natures. Also a nice feature. I haven't seen that often. Then there are probably daily quests, which I might not have logged in. Unlock sign in. Oh, okay. So I'm unlocking all the stuff. Okay, then I actually might play the game a little bit, maybe one or two days, and then we can do a separate video about it, where I can tell you what I think about those games. This is just a small. Heads in taking a first look and then telling you about it. Oh yeah, the gacha thing we've already seen. You get three ones every day. Five of them, okay. Yeah, that's pretty usual. Alrighty, then backpack has a lot of stuff I have no idea from. Or of, yet. But that's also something you find out if you play. Probably, if you want to have a closer look, you just invest one day. Like, download all of them in the download section of my Discord. And then just start playing. If you don't want to, or you just don't have space and you want to decide uh, if you want to play it, then wait for the other videos to come. And then I'm gonna tell you about them uh, even more. Also, um, there are some other games I wanted to play today. That's what I wanted to mention, but I can't. Um, I have them not listed anywhere. But sadly, I've downloaded about 13 games or so. And three of them were not working already. <laughs> and I haven't tried the artist. This is kind of sad, but yeah, this is what you have to do if you want to record such a video. Anyway, um, this was my first look. I know the video is already pretty long. I hope you enjoyed it anyways. I wanted to give you a few more details and just a few seconds of gameplay. So I hope you enjoyed that one. As I said, I'm gonna do a second part about this. And if I like a game or want to show you more about it, then I will also make separate videos about them. So get subscribed if you're interested in those. Then I'd say, I hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.